At first sight, the latest battle in Hong Kong's long struggle for democracy looks very confusing. The Chinese communist dictatorship, not usually known as an advocate of multi-party democracy, was promoting popular elections. Meanwhile, Hong Kong's dyed-in-the-wool Democrats bitterly opposed Beijing's latest offer of universal suffrage. As always, the devil was in the detail. The proposal to give Hong Kongers the chance to elect their chief executive came with a big catch. The candidates had to be nominated by a pro-establishment committee. The Hong Kong government, its allies in Beijing and the city's powerful tycoons argued that something was better than nothing. The die-hard Democrats disagreed, refusing to support what they call fake democracy. In the Legislative Council behind me, they just rejected the reform proposal after pro-government lawmakers walked out. But why does a political dispute in this city matter to the outside world? For a start, Hong Kong is a major global financial centre and investors are very concerned about political stability and the nature of relations with Beijing. More important, with greater freedom than anywhere else in China, Hong Kong provides a window on how an ever more assertive Beijing government reacts to tough political challenges. On the one hand, China has shown patience, sitting on the sidelines while the disruptive Occupy movement spread and then waiting for it to fizzle out. But on the other, Beijing has proved unyielding, insisting it will not open new negotiations if this offer of partial electoral reform is rejected. <laughs> 我因為政改方案將會被否決而感到痛心失望。我無法預知香港嘅民主發展咩時候先可以重新上路。Although it pains them to admit it, that is not a surprise to Hong Kong's Democrats. The problem is with them. They close down even if you kneel down. Are they going to give you with uh, us true democracy uh, if we kneel down? No. Look at, uh, look at Macau. Have they given Macau, who have never fight for uh, true democracy, have they given them real, any democracy? Nothing. Ultimately, most do not believe that a China led by the Communist Party will ever cross the final red line, allowing genuine multi-party democracy within its borders. Ben Bland, Financial Times, Hong Kong.